Hello everyone, welcome to Eddie Tech Gaming Time. Today we've got some stuff to cover, some stuff I forgot to cover last week. So, yeah, just want to let you know if you think today we've got all good news, there's more bad news than anything else, to be honest. Here's the intro. Right, hoping you know the story by now. The Spyware fan game going by Myths Awakens that have been work that have been that basically they've been working on this fan game for a very long time. They released I think at least three demos on Game Joint. It's now not happening due to a decent assist letter. Basically they cannot work on it anymore, which sucks. It does. It really does suck. I feel like we're gonna mess it. Like I believe I still have gameplay of me playing the last demo apparently they are still going to move on with it just without using anything that has to do with Spyro but Myths Awakens rest in peace. So Star Wars Battlefront 2 after the update that actually um, happened within this week there was some new data that the data miners actually found some stuff about Kenobi and General Grievous I'm going to show you some of the stuff that they found right now and just want to let you know the audio that you hear in the background is music Now with Telltale, one of the former employees are planning on basically suing Telltale. But not just that, but they removed the Walking Dead final season off the um, digital stores. And now they've said that reason being because they're trying to find a new way to produce episode 3 and 4 so then they can actually come back and put it on the digital source. Now I don't know what this means for the people who already have the game or maybe who have brought the game but I don't know. If you brought the game and now it's not coming, I hope you get your money back. I hope. I... I just hope. I understand that many people still don't want Telltale to finish The Walking Dead. Well, the thing is, is that I'm still a big supporter of Telltale. I am of both, of the both sides. It's just, like I said before, when I bought Life is Strange 2, I expect there to be at least five episodes ready when they are. Because there, if there isn't, then we're going to have some complaints because it's just like a waste of money. So I do feel like they should complete it and maybe do something about the employees. But honestly, that on the other hand does not seem to happen because if you file for bankruptcy, then what hope do you actually have? The Strange 2 came out this week and I've got to say, whew, it was a packer it was. My review video on it will be out next week, it will be, but i got to say, I'm still feeling the emotional effects. I'm not too sure if I'm my normal self, a lot of messed up stuff happened. I realised that half the American people are basically like, <laughs> like how this guy kidnapping two kids, even though they didn't steal anything, and you basically paid for the stuff. Yeah, that guy in the game, he's racist. He is, and anyone who's like that should be arrested, and sh and they are basically racist. I don't usually say that, but it, it just disgusts me to the point where this guy was literally—he didn't care. He could kill the kids and and didn't care, which is against the law. And I realise how fucked up our police system is still. Ugh. Anyway, but Life is Strange too, honestly amazing. I can't wait for episode. So hopefully we're getting closer to see Captain Spirit. 
They also gave off the Arcadia Bay fate, which I'm not so sure if it changes if you didn't sacrifice Arcadia Bay, so I don't know yet. That's one still standing by, that is, but yeah. Um, but unlike Telltale, it'll probably take a couple of months. Now, my prediction of when episode 2 will come out, September's done for. Um, so, because the last one, Life of Strange Season 1, had a gap between January to March within the episodes, so... Uh, so my prediction is that it could come out within either between October to December, and that's funny because in December we have PlayStation Experience, we do. So maybe, just maybe, they may be there. And finally, Spider-Man PlayStation 4 had a brand new update this week. Now, I haven't actually updated my uh, one yet, um, I, don't, <laughs> I do need to, um, and also with the Game Plus mode, um, apparently the Insomniac is still polishing up on it, so it's probably going to take a week or two for it to actually come into the game. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you on the next one.